We are at a brand new venue, and we have our drivers ready to throw down. It's definitely do or die for us right now. We need to win this event. Oh, my power overshoots it. Holy cow! Anything but a title is technically a defeat. Is not feeling the pressure? Absolutely. Wow, look at this backdrop. It's a brand new venue and welcome to Utah Motorsports Campus. We are elevated in more ways than one. This is round seven of the Formula Drift Pro Championship. This is Matt Field. He hasn't won an event yet, but guess what? He leads the championship. Frederick Osbo sitting in second in points. Right behind him, his other rock star energy drink driver, Ryan Turk. They are part of the conversation and they are still in it. We've had six rounds, six different winners. It's a beautiful backdrop, it's a beautiful day. Who's gonna win? It's gonna be another surprise victor here in Utah. We will find out. Go to work. Brand new track to us here in uh, at Utah Motorsports Campus. So everybody is learning and doing massive setup changes, trying to get comfortable as fast as possible. You got to be focused and from run one. So if you can get up to speed faster than everybody else and get the car dialed and your line dialed, you're a huge advantage. And this track is amazing. It's so fast compared to a lot of the other places we go and you're just laying into the throttle and just bombing through I love it. Right to the point where we're like, okay, how do we we've already now got to that level. How do we make it better? Like it's like it's like we've been here before. And it's trash hard. I've pieced sections together, but I haven't just put the whole thing together as like a qualifying lap. So we better get our asses in gear and get dialed in here. Nice work, everybody. A lot of, a lot of hustle today. Uh, Good seeing you. Thanks for swing, swinging by here. Oh, no, thanks for having me. All right, I'll see you later. We are very data driven, and video is a big part of that. You guys are getting too greedy out there. Let's look at this. Chelsea, almost straight there. It's such a yeah, if you ever saw me in the pits, you'd see that I'd be reviewing videos. I'd be talking to Steph about, you know, maybe changing something up. Well, no, we know it's a step in the right direction. And if we've got one shot at it, we go to like the 9180 and raise the round winner to nine grand. Now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> we're always trying to learn from what's going on during the event. Because every track has its own theme or its own style or its own curveball from the judges. And you've got to be able to adapt and learn as we go. And Frederick Osbo is performing surgery right now. Call doctor. Nice job by Frederick Osbo. A 94. Wow, make some noise for Frederick, the Norwegian hammer Osbo, a 94. You know, Freddie's been having a positive attitude all weekend. So that gives a lot of confidence, you know, in the team, knowing that your driver's already feeling comfortable in a track that we've never been to. So, uh, we've got high expectations for today. All right, we see Frederick Osbo pulling up to the line and it is our first battle making some history. We're ready to send it for the first time ever here at Utah Motorsports Campus. It's pretty crazy what we do out here. Uh, you know, the, the cars are putting out beyond a thousand horsepower and we're this far from disaster every second out there on track. 
Frederick Osmond makes quick work of outside zone one and two. Anything can happen. You can get ran off track. You can get hurt. You can get injured. Or, or you can win. Frederick Osmo, I mean, doing exactly what he needs to do. Very reminiscent of what we saw for his qualifying run. And Frederick Osmo gets the win. It's almost like we're gladiators in a sense. Every time he goes on track, my heart's just like, it stops and it skips a few beats. And I probably don't breathe the entire 20 seconds that they're driving. Um, but I think that's the part of being a wife, you know, no matter how good he, you know, they think he is, I'm still like, anything can happen, you know, it's racing, so, yeah, I don't breathe for a good 20 to 30 seconds when he's driving. <laughs> like, hand it to me and you sit there like, is it good, is it good, is it good? Did you like it? Hunter, to have her here with me uh, at only her second race this year is, is big. We don't have children yet. Well, I have you. No, no, excuse me, I have you. She keeps me young. She, she's just a happy-go-lucky kind of girl. Just her positivity, it's, it's awesome to see that. He's rolling his eyes, he hates shopping so much. Mid-season this year is where it all kind of fell apart a little bit. And, you know, I, I started losing faith in what I was doing. So I went back to Norway, spoke to my mentor uh, that helped me 10 years ago. Uh, got back to working out a lot more than I had been doing, which was practically none. <laughs> and after showing up in Utah, qualifying first, immediately I started feeling a lot better. Always a camera. Always a and that is, that's a great feeling when, you, when you've been low and you find your way out of it, you know, with the help of, of the team and good friends and, and people around you. Good. We need a little bit more power, but we ain't got none to give. If Ryan never wins a championship, it will be disappointing. It will seem like he missed something in his career. That's not just from like my perspective. I think fans think that too. I think he thinks that. I think he thinks that there's no reason with my driving ability, with the team that I have, with the preparations that I've done, that I should not be in the top three every year. And he usually is, you know, but he always seems to have something that happens tragically that circumvents that for some reason. This is a, this is a year to do it. This is an opportune year. There's two events left and there's enough points, you know, for him to capture the last few yards of this championship chase. Not just doing it for myself, for my team. It's more for my family now than anything. We're on the back foot and we're behind by a lot of points. So we just need to work like we do every single round, really not change the plan. And uh, then I go out and do my job. And hopefully that's good enough to put us in the top of the top of the box and come into Irwindale with uh, we're shrinking that points lead. <laughs> See what you got, Ryan. He's going against Mike Power. Ryan Turk qualifying eighth, Mike Power qualifying 25th. So here we go. Ryan Turk will lead in that Rainex Toyota GR Corolla. In my top 32 battle with Mike Power, we were pretty evenly matched. This car was faster than I thought. And I didn't apply enough pressure, so. Uh, it wasn't enough to get the win, so we're going one more time. Again, Ryan Turk in contention. That is Mike Power, and a one more time. It's pretty fast. I wasn't able to reel him in like I expected. And I'm like, hell yeah. I can't believe we got it one more time. Let's go. Let's do this. It's definitely do or die for us right now. We need to be on that podium. Um, if we want any, any shot coming into Irwindale, we need to win this event. Ryan Turk in the hunt for that championship. So here we go, the one more time battle, Ryan Turk versus Mike Power. 99.6, almost 100 miles per hour by that man right there, Ryan Turk. You can see pulling that front left Nitto tire off the ground. I definitely wasn't laying down. It was, you gotta earn it to, to win it. The goals are to just beat everybody, all the time. 
overall, great run from Ryan. Uh, Mike was just not there, you know, uh, proximity-wise. He had a big gap on him the entire way around, hit all of his marks, so it's good. Ryan Turk, turning it up. This by no means this is his drag racing, but he took Mike Power to Gapplebee's for lunch right now and basically said, hey, I, you know, here's the seniority coming into play. I run at him as hard as possible. What's the deal? got to put him away always. You don't need to drive over him. But uh, try to run your line. Don't overdrive and have fun. Put him away. Copy that, ladies. Copy that. Here we go. Mike Power will be leading. Ryan Turk chasing him down. 99, 102, 102 miles per hour. Mike Power talking about, hey, you know what? I don't care how long you've been here. I'm going to try to disrupt. Mike Power transitions into that second outside zone. Ryan Turk tries to dive in. Is he too aggressive? Let's take a look at this here on that second outside zone, going and approaching that final outside zone. Ryan Turk goes off course. And Ryan Turk explodes. Turk. Uh -huh. Into the wall. Yeah, I heard. To make sure he's OK. Ooh. He did get into that tire wall. What happened there? You put yourself in the wrong place? Couldn't see a thing, dude. I thought I transitioned in the correct spot. Obviously, we're zero. I was a really a reckless kid. Definitely got myself in a, a fair, sh you know, fair share of like trouble, but nothing serious. And for me, drifting kind of just so it was more about being, uh, I guess, getting that adrenaline rush from something different. Part of it is just that there's no second chance. And you have one mistake in your top 32 bracket, which is the first round of your tandem competition, and you're out for the weekend. That's it. So that right there was just like, our world blew up. I'm, I'm fine, motherfucking. What the? F Ryan has everything it takes to become a champion. Oh my god. It's just getting all the pieces together. It's one way to suck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ryan and I have been doing this for a long time, and even after all these years, it's it's so hard dealing with a blow like that. I hooked up the mentor. I don't know, too. It's just a simple drifting yeah. mistake. It's just... You know, I, I could see it in Ryan's eyes. It effectively took him out of contention of the championship. Carry, carry the torch. I'll do my best. It's, it's tough to see, but at the same time, Ryan's strong. He's able to shake that off. He'll come back swinging in in Irvindale. And, you know, it's, it's just the up, ups and downs of, of the sport. Mike Power gets the win. He advances on. He takes out Ryan Turk. Kazuya Taguchi, he's going against number two in points, defending champion Frederick Osmo Taguchi. He has nothing to lose. Osmo has everything to lose right now. Top 16 against Taguchi was tough. Taguchi, he's one of those Japanese killers. And one of the smokiest guys out there today, so I was concerned I would lose sight of where I would be on track. I was in the smoke like I've never been before. And I changed up my driving a little bit into the last corner, and my chase on him into, into turn three ended up being the best that I did all night. And it worked out. It worked out great, and I stuck it to his door across the finish line, and we even tapped across the finish line. So that felt really good, and it's very confidence inspiring. And Frederick Osbo gets the win, advances on into the great eight. I think winning here is going to take a lot of, of commitment. Uh, it's getting that snappy, deep uh, initiation without going off track. It's staying close without getting caught up in the smoke. And getting through this weekend in one piece is going to be deciding. And that's going to be all she wrote. Oh, what the f like Huge repercussions here. Matt Field, our points leader, is going out. Yeah, Gucci Ken beaten Field today was awesome on, on so many levels. Matt Field got a little aggressive, bunted Goosh. So he got a zero on a lot the first half. <laughs> we're in Utah, baby. Oh, we're in Utah! <laughs> Die Gucci. It's not right to enjoy someone else's defeat. But for the championship to become even closer, it's good for everyone. Wow, 
Wow, wow, wow, wow. A huge blow for Matt Field. It's going to be coming down to Irwindale, kids. Is, is Matt feeling the pressure? He may never admit it, but absolutely. Top eight against Mike Power was, was wild. We were on wings. Oh, my power overshoots it. Oh, my goodness. My power goes off course. Hits the wall, Jared. Unfortunately, with that big mistake and an incomplete, Osbo will be moving on. The Final Four is upon us. The sun is about to set, not only in the sky, but also on this event. This is the debut at Utah Motorsports Campus, UMC. Frederick Osbo in the mix. If, uh, if he keeps advancing on through this competition, that gap between him and Matt Field, who's been knocked out, will close. First lap at the track blew my mind. And that feeling has stuck with me all the way through the weekend. Uh, every lap we've turned, we've, we've learned something. Um, I had watched Chelsea's uh, battle with Forsberg, and he absolutely parked Forsberg. And we knew we had to bring our A game. Take a deep breath and refocus, ready. Today I felt like it was my day. Who's gonna get the win? Who's gonna advance on? Osbo, Denofa initiating almost, almost simultaneously. Probably 50-50 after that first run. Here we go. Who's going to the finals? Frederick Osbo or Chelsea Denofa? My chase on Chelsea was probably the highlight of the night. Send it, kids! And I knew that he had the highest entry speed out of all the drivers. So I made it a point to stay with him. 109, baby! Oh, doctor, come on now! It was the fastest I had entered all weekend. Got out of turn one, right there with him. Got into turn two, and then boom. Oh, knocks him out. Chelsea stays in it. Holy cow. And then I was like, oh, no, Freddie, you blew it. I uh, disintegrated the rear tire. Parts flying. Stayed in the throttle. I'm just holding on for dear life, and I'm like, no, I'm not giving up. Patrick Osbo. Going for that controlled chaos. Woo-wee. Come on now, Utah. Make some noise for these guys. By the grace of God, or whatever you want to call it, the judges called it against Chelsea. We moved on, but unfortunately, we weren't able to fix the car in time. Being back on a podium today feels amazing. I mean, we didn't win, but it feels like a win. I've been practicing, working out, trying to work on my mental game, hoping that I still have what it takes. So I think today I proved that I do. Oh, hello. 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 Mm. Mm. Did you have fun? <laughs> it's been it's been a roller coaster ride of a season. And now we're here, back on Cloud9 in championship contention. And you can rest assured, we're going to bring our A game to Irwindale. This is the House of Drip. Irwindale's a pretty tumultuous track. Oh my gosh, Chelsea spins out! The championship is on the line. This is huge. You can really show everyone here what you're made of. 